Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have 5 to the power of t is equals to t to the power of 625 and we solve this problem for all the values of t. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Uh, so I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to move the variable terms to the right hand side and we move the constant terms to the left hand side. So for this we need to move the 625 uh, to the left hand side. So uh, it will be written as in this form. Uh, so we have 5 to the power of this is 625 in order to uh, move this value to the left hand side we need to take the uh, 1 over uh, 625th root on both of the sides. So uh, here we just take 1 over 625th power on both of the sides and after applying this power on both of the sides we write here our bar equation in this form. So further we use here the nice exponential line to the right hand side and you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to here we write this term uh, this uh, uh, exponential form as a to the power of m to the power of n it means that if we interchange uh, so this is uh, n to the power of m okay so if we interchange these two exponents it does not affect it our final answer so we write it as a to the power of m multiplied by n so uh, here according to this rule uh, in the left hand side we just interchange these two values and in the right hand side we multiply these two exponents and after applying this rule we write our bar equations as 5 to the power of 1 over 625 to the power of uh, t is equals to um, t to the power of 625 multiplied by 1 over 625 so this value is cancelled out by this value and uh, here uh, uh, we just write it as 5 to the power of 1 over 625 to the power of t is equals to t only so here we need to uh, move uh, this variable term to the right hand side so in order to move this variable term we again take uh, t's root on both of the sides or in other words we take 1 over t power on both of the sides so after taking um, 1 over t power on both of the sides it will be written as in this form this is also t to the power of 1 over t so here uh, we again use the nice exponential line you know about that here we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 5 to the power of 1 over 625 and its whole power is t multiplied by 1 over t is equals to t to the power of 1 over t and now you see here this t is cancelled out by this t and we will get here 5 to the power of 1 over 625 is equals to t to the power of 1 over t so here uh, we need to focus into the left hand side and here we have 1 over 625 uh, so uh, in the if you focus into the right hand side you see here the exponent uh, be the reciprocal of its base so we need to make this type of condition into the left hand side uh, so in order to make the um, exponent be the reciprocal of its base we need to do some working into the left hand side uh, so for this we just multiply and divide the exponent of 5 by 5 and it will be written as 5 by 5 multiplied by 6 1 over 625 is equals to t to the power of 1 over t and uh, now here in the next step uh, we just move uh, this exponent 5 inside the term and it will be written as 5 to the power of 5 and here we multiply this 5 with this value and it will become 1 over 5 multiplied by 625 is equals to t to the power of 1 over t. And now here uh, you know about that uh, we have 5 to the power of 5 is equals to 3125. So we use this nice uh, value into the left hand side. Uh, so it will be written as this is 3125 to the power of 1 over if we multiply 5 with 625 it is also equals to 3125 is equals to t to the power of 1 over t. 
So now here uh, we have time to compare both of the sides so that when we compare its bases we will get here T is equals to 3125 and when we compare the exponents we get here 1 over T is equals to 1 over 3025. So if you uh, see on both of these two cases you will get here the same value of T and that is 3125. So this is the only one value of T which we get here. Uh, so further in the next step uh, we need uh, to uh, just uh, uh, verify that is this value of t be the solution or is this value of t be the extraneous root uh, so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is 5 to the power of t is equals to t to the power of 625 so this is our given question statement and uh, here uh, we need to uh, substitute the above value of t on both of the sides and we check its behavior so we have this is 5 to the power of t the value of t is 3125 it will be written as 3125 is equals to 3125 to the power of 625 so further in the next step uh, here we need to do some working into the left hand side and you see here uh, this is 3125 and uh, we write this term as 5 multiplied by 625 is equals to this is 3125 to the power of 625 and now here uh, we need to move this 5 inside the term and it will becomes 5 to the power of 5 and its whole exponent is 625 equals to 3125 to the power of 625 so we already know about that uh, 5 to the power of 5 is equals to 3125 to the power of 625 is equals to 3125 to the power of 625. So you see here both of these as both of these two sides are equal which means that the value of uh, t equals to 3125 is satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so we, we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that it is 3125. So this is our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.